Hi Shimmy Shaker, welcome to this week's workout. If you find your arms are like this, you can't hold your shimmy or you can't keep your posture up nice and tall, this workout is going to help you get those nice long lines. You can use some weights if you like or little dumbbells. Otherwise, without will be fine too. Let's warm up. So getting straight into it, swinging out through your body. Remember as well, especially with this kind of workout, we want to warm up properly and always get your doctors okay before you exercise. Now, getting energy into the side of our body. Good. Okay, feet hip width apart. Let's just warm up through our feet. We are doing some feet work today. Our feet are really, really important in our belly dancing, but also in everyday life because they are our foundation. Loosening up through our shoulders. And the other way. Then just loosening up bigger through those shoulder joints, through our arms. Other way. And then through our chest. So you can bring your chest all the way forward for this one. Just be gentle as always. And then reaching through, you can curve your spine for this one. Like you're trying to bring your shoulder blades away from each other. So I'm filming a little bit of a different way today because it's so windy that I couldn't use the microphone outside. So let me know in the comments, do you like it with this voiceover? Good, just keep loosening up through your hips. And very gently releasing through your neck. So be gentle with this one, especially if you've been sitting down or looking at a computer all day. Muscles might be a little bit tight, so as always, move slowly. By the way, shake it out building that energy up okay we are going to start with our legs today so you can wear your leg weights if you like we come on to one leg and then we're going to lift up the other leg so make sure that you keep that leg nice and straight our supporting leg is a little bit bent so we're working through the upper part of that leg as well and we're keeping our ankle nice and strong so we're building strength and stability. You want to keep that ankle nice and strong, foot on the floor, awesome job. So you don't have to do big lifts, just little lifts, nice and controlled. Keep your core strong. And if you find it working the other hip as well, that's very normal. Both hips are working strong. You can hold your arms in basic position, or you can do a little arm wave if you like. Just make sure you've got the movement first. Okay, shake it out. Let's go on to the other side. That's it. So we're doing three sets of 50 seconds. Keep your posture. Keep in mind as well, one side might feel different to the other. Posture, most important. Are you feeling it? I'm definitely feeling it now. Remember to keep that supporting leg strong, core tucked in. You can also point your toes to really elongate all the way through that leg. And add some arms if you like, or just hold them there. It's up to you for this one. So this move is really, really good for all our shimmies, building strength through the side of our legs. Also for those beautiful arabesques. Nearly there. Stay with it, stay with it. Keep that foot, supporting foot nice and strong and release, shake it out. Good work. Make sure you always shake out in between. Okay, one down, two to go. Coming back to the first side, bending your knees and let's go. Doing really well, shimmy shaker. Add some arms if you like. Or if you find the arms distracting, just don't do the arms. Also, if you're finding this move too much, if you get to your limit, feel free to stop. You can build up over time. 
And if you get to your limit, it's actually a good thing because it means that you've broken down your muscles and they'll get stronger as you rest for next time. So you might find you can do one set of each exercise this round, but then in a few days time, you might be able to do the whole thing. So really listen to your body. I'm really feeling it now. <laughs> okay, shake it out, good job. Let's go, second side, second set. Bracing up and let's go. So remember you wanna keep the movement nice and smooth. Oh yes, feeling it through the side of those hips. Posture up. Keep that center. Especially if you feel your body is leaning to the side, you can hold on to something if you need to. Doing really well here. Sometimes the exercises we find the hardest are the ones that our body needs the most. Having a balanced body is really going to help your posture as well, as well as your belly dancing too. Nearly there, keep it strong and shake it out, good work. Okay, final set each side. So starting with the bent legs, center, and let's go. Keep your chest upright, keep your body centered. Try and keep that supporting knee bent. And shake it out. Awesome work, Shimmy Shaker. Okay, our very final set on the final side. Hands on hips or out to the side. And let's go. Ooh, I am building up a sweat. Beautiful work. And you have done it, great work. Okay, so next we're going to work through our inner thighs and calves. We are bringing our legs out nice and wide, keeping our knees turned out, coming down into a wide squat and then very carefully lifting one heel then the other. As you lift the heel, you wanna make sure that you're not rolling the ankle at all. You don't have to come up as high as I'm coming, just come up as high as feels comfortable for you. We are building all the little muscles through our feet, through our ankles, and through the inside of those legs. Great work. So remember, you don't want to wobble the ankle. Keep it nice and strong. If you've got mirrors to the side of you, that will really help because then you can see you're keeping your foot steady. And try not to float your hips up as you keep going. Okay, shake it out. Good work. We've got two more sets of these ones. Let's go. Really feel it working through the sides of your thighs.
Feel it working through those calf muscles. You're doing really well. And shake it out. Just one more set to go. Okay, coming into arms, so if you're using plates like I am, make sure you hold them from the inside to keep it nice and stable. Now, if you're going to wear your weights, make sure that you have it above the wrist because you don't want any extra pressure on the wrist. And as you're doing it, keep your wrist nice and straight. You don't want it turning in or out. Keep the wrist in line with the rest of the forearm. So starting off, feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up, a really good posture. We're then bringing those weights up to our shoulders. You want those wrists nice and strong, not rotated, nice and in line with that forearm. Keep your posture strong and keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. So gently bending your knees, carefully putting the weights down, little shake out, 10 seconds rest and let's go with our second set. Okay, and final set. I know you can do it. Let's go. So we are now getting into our core. You might like a mat for this one or you can lie down on your carpet if you're inside. For this one, we're bringing our knees out nice and wide. Our feet are touching to help relax our glutes and lower back. Then we are looking all the way down to our mat to keep our neck long and lifting up through the chest. So check the exercise first. Make sure you understand what you're doing. And then once you've got it, keep your head all the way down to keep that neck long. If your hands are in the way, you can bring them behind you if that helps otherwise we are feeling it through the middle of our back 
Now, this one can be quite intense, especially if you need a little help with your posture. It is really good for us, but it's very, very important to move consciously and gently. You never want to jolt into this one because it can hurt your back. Okay, shaking it out, release through, good work, shimmy shaker, two more to go. This is a really good one for our posture, so a really important one to do. Second set, let's go. Make sure you're still breathing. So every time you hold your breath, your diaphragm muscle is going to take over. Whereas now we want to work through the back of our core. And final set. and shake it out. Okay, we're now going to work through our lower core. So lying on our back, we bring our knees up so that they're in line with our hips and feet in right angles. We're tilting our pelvis so that our lower back's on the floor. Really important for this one to keep your lower back on the floor the whole time. Then we're gently lowering one leg, then the other. Good. So make sure you're still breathing. If you find that your lower back is lifting, just don't come down as low. It's more important to keep that lower back down than you'll really get those benefits of lower core strength. I know this one's hard. It's another really good one for our posture. It helps avoid that sway back posture that we often see. And release. Okay, second set, let's go. Really keep that focus. And shake it out. Okay, final set. Really make sure that lower core stays squeezed into your mat. Keep breathing as well.
nice work shimmy shaker and we are done so we are going to have a really nice stretch now let's just relax a few options so you can bring one leg out bring the other leg over the top and then gently push down the knee if you're feeling you need more you can bend the bottom leg as well and if you still need more you can stack one knee over the other if you still need more you can lift yourself up a little bit holding onto your feet and settle into that position so just leaning forward here or sitting up and just holding nice and relaxed. Keep breathing. Might feel it a little bit in both hips. It's very normal. Really relaxing into this one. This is great for us belly dancers too, especially with all those figure eight moves. And changing sides. Okay, next we're going to get into our adductors, which is our inner thighs. So just gently bringing your feet out nice and wide. And then just leaning forward. So you'll feel this one a little bit through your back as you lean forward too. We worked our back hard as well, so it's good to stretch out this area as well. You can drop down your head for a little extra stretch through your neck. And then coming over to one side, we're feeling this more through the side of our back and also through our hamstrings. Breathe. And other side.
So we're now coming into the front of our thighs, our quadriceps. So with this one, make sure that you don't feel it on your knee. You want to feel it in the front of the thigh. If you feel it in the knee, bring that foot out nice and wide. Keep your foot flexed and then just gently leaning back until you feel the stretch. If you need more, you can lie all the way down. Keep thinking about the knee coming down, the hip coming up. If you still need more, you can bring that other foot over the top. And if you don't like this stretch, you can do this one here instead. Then keeping your legs where they are, slowly coming up. If you find it hard to come up, you can just straighten your legs and then come up. And then staying evenly between both knees, leaning forward, feeling this one through your glutes. If you don't like this stretch, you can do this one here instead. And other side. If you don't like this stretch, you can do this one here instead. Just make sure your knees are together and then push your hip forward, feeling it through the front of the thigh. So if this is too much pressure on your knee, you can do this stretch instead. And then reaching in like you're trying to bring your shoulder blades apart from each other. Feeling it through your upper back. Now just stretching through your chest like in our warm up. Bring your hands out. Feeling it opening up all the way through your chest. Yeah, it's super windy here today. Let me know in the comments below, was it okay doing a voiceover? I thought at least you'd be able to hear me better. Otherwise, yeah, it's been hard weather for filming. And final stretch, just coming over to a bar or you can use a chair or a bench top, keeping your elbows straight and then just leaning across, feeling it through the front of your shoulders.
Okay, awesome work, Shimmy Shaker. We are done. I hope you liked this workout. It's going to help you really stand up tall and enjoy that dancing. So once you've built your strength with this workout, you can now do this one right here. It's going to do some belly dancing moves. And I promise after doing the conditioning workout, you will see benefits and you will see that you will be able to go for longer with that endurance.